Assalamu alaikum. My name is Radi. And my name is Halima. And today we will be your MCs for today's MCNN episode. Alhamdulillah, we have just come out of the COVID lockdown in Melbourne and all students from prep to year 12 have returned to school on Friday. However, restrictions are still in place and all students in senior school are expected to cover the mouth and nose with a fitted face mask. We've gone into lockdown, many excursions have been cancelled due to COVID restrictions and many of those restrictions are still in place. Because of this, all excursions in the remainder of this term have been cancelled. Once related restrictions to excursions have been lifted, we will keep you updated with excursions coming up. Last Monday, the Year 12 students reconnected over a morning tea at Springvale and Officer Campus respectively. Completing your final year of school during a pandemic can be stressful, so college leaders and teachers took some time to reassure, regroup and refocus. Alhamdulillah, it was an uplifting event at both campuses and let us keep them and all our students in our du'a. Exams for Year 7 to Year 11 students have been rescheduled to the last week of Term 2, which is commencing on the 21st of June. Reports for both primary and secondary students will be delayed until Term 3. Year 10 work experience scheduled for, the, for early in Term 3 has been cancelled. The school ex is exploring the option to have students attend later in the year and further updates regarding the rescheduled dates will be provided when finalised, inshallah. Now we will go on to our World News Correspondent. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sajan Abiyah, World News for today. Restrictions in Melbourne will be eased from Friday with a 25 kilometre travel bubble to be introduced while regional Victorians will have even greater freedoms. Across the state, masks will no longer be required outdoors but must be worn indoors except the houses. Otherwise, otherwise there are notable differences between Melbourne and the regions from 11.59 on Thursday. The following limits will apply in Melbourne. Outdoor gatherings increased to 10 people. Visitors to home will be banned. Students will return to the classrooms from Friday. Funerals limited to 50 people and then weddings 10 people. Religious ceremonies caped at 50 inside. Officers can return with 25% or a cap of 10%, whichever is greater. Restaurants and cafes will reopen with a max of 50 people inside. Retail can reopen with density limit of one person per four square meters. Beauty services can resume for services where a mask can be worn. Community sport can resume training. Auctions can happen outdoors with max 50 people. Robin McKenzie with her husband's store were mustering cattle on their property near Aromanga in southwest Queensland when they discovered dinosaur bones in 2006. Now, after 15 years of painstaking excavation, the Aromanga Natural History Museum has officially identified the skeleton as the largest dinosaur ever found in Australia. Miss McKenzie, a palaeontologist who runs the Aramonga Museum, said those first places of bone offered them no sense of the size to the dinosaur they would eventually unwear. Thank you. Thank you. We will now go over to our weather correspondent. Assalamu alaikum and a good morning. My name is Samira Almazovsky and I'll be your weather reporter for today. Monday was looking mostly cloudy with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Today is partly cloudy with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Wednesday is also expecting showers with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. And Thursday is also expecting showers with a high of 13 degrees and a low of 9 degrees. Friday is also expecting showers and also the coldest day of the week with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Please make sure to be drinking plenty of water this week. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now go over to our sports correspondent. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hatam Sabune and I will be your sports correspondent for today. It was supposed to be a spectacle when arguably the great boxer of the last 30 years faced a YouTuber. It wasn't terribly entertaining, but the YouTuber survived as Logan Paul managed to get all eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather in a special exhibition bout at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Garden on Sunday night. The fighters combined to land just 73 punches, with Mayweather landing the majority of them and Paul struggling mightily to find his target. Once the larger Paul realised that he wouldn't be able to catch the target, he decided to tie up Mayweather as a part of the plan to remain on his feet for eight rounds. It was a moral victory for the 26-year-old Paul. He'll go home richer and be able to say he went the distance with an undefeated living legend. Roger Federer's sudden withdrawal from 
the French Open book took everyone in tennis by surprise. But tournament director Guy Forget has no issues with him pulling the pin. While many were supportive of Federer's decisions to leave midway through the tournament, despite not having suffered an acute injury. Israel lost to Portugal by four goals. Bruno Fernandes scoring two goals, Ronaldo scoring one, and Sancelo scoring one. Good cut back, Fernandes, lovely goal. Really well worked by Portugal. And tucked away by Bruno Fernandes. Thank you, that's all for me. Thank you for joining us here on MCNN, Minaret College's up-to-date news network. Our quote of the week is by John Meyer, who says, Patience is not simply the ability to wait, it is how we behave while we're waiting. We're also currently recruiting for MCNN. If you're interested, please shoot us an email at erin.k at student.minaret.vic.edu.au. Assalamu alaikum. That was so <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, Thank you for tuning in guys. MCNN. Yep, tough. The best news network out there. <laughs> Better than nine news, guys. The most reliable. <laughs> Mr. Kit, you're starting off by saying thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us here on MCNN. Our uh, one and only news network. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only news network. Okay, that's where I, I cut in. Welcome to MCNN, your one and only. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank oh! you for tuning in to MCNN. Okay, okay, so thank you for tuning in to MCNN, Minaret College's. Uh, start. start again. What? She keeps moving the thing. Oh, no, my fault. Right. Welcome to MCNN. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh yes. me thank you. Right, three, okay. two, one. Thank you for joining us here at MCNN, Marina College's latest news update. Our quote of the week for the... Our quote of the week is... Uh, start again from him. Uh, one more time. Okay, start it again. Okay. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hatim Sabuna and I'll be a sports correspondent for today. Wait, why are you wearing a mask? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he there? Something for the pocket.